Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan and I stumbled upon this gem of a video over on TikTok. And when I saw it, I was one of the first people to see it. It didn't have a ton of likes or views or comments or anything like that. But I just thought it was so refreshing as a woman to hear another woman saying this. And I'm sure that as mostly men watching, you will find this refreshing too. So I'm gonna show you guys just so that we're all on the same page and then we're gonna talk about it. We need to have a chat and don't get mad at me. Think of me like your older sister, been there, done. It says he's not intimidated by you on the top of the video. I've already experienced this, learned the lesson myself. So now I just want to teach you the lesson so that you can be honest with yourself. Um, that man did not end things with you or ghost you because he's too intimidated by you. Stop convincing yourself of that. Stop letting your friends convince you of that. People used to say that to me, so I used to say it all the time when things didn't work out with a guy. I have been pretty successful from, from a pretty young age, and one of the things about me at that time was that like I made my whole personality trait. Like, didn't need anybody for anything. Work like came first. Um, I just. I was a little more on the like argumentative, like highly opinionated, which I am a highly opinionated person, but like it was just a different way. And people used to say that to me, oh, well, they're just so intimidated by you. And I ate that shit up until finally it came to my senses and matured. And I was like, well, I'm not dating insecure men. So I don't think that the men I date who are like successful have their shit together, you know, pretty confident are ending it with me because they're like, they're, they're intimidated, they think I'm too good for them. I just don't think that that's necessarily true. What I've learned and realized is that they just don't like it. Like if you are argumentative, why would they spend their time with you when there's someone else who's not? Or if your whole life is about not needing anybody and just like, oh, I can do this, I can do that because I'm like so successful and work is everything to me, then like, why would they want that in a partner when there's someone who's more like open to being like a team rather than so like independent? Um, the only time it'd probably be true if a man was intimidated by you would be if he had significantly less going for him than you do. like successful you make a ton of money you travel you live in a nice place whatever and he's like between jobs and lives with his parents like doesn't have a steady income or if you're like 10 out of 10 like stunning model most beautiful girl he's ever seen and he's like unhealthy unattractive like never been with someone that looks like you so he like gets intimidated and, and unfortunately like psychs himself out maybe in that case but chances are that's not what your dating dynamic is and it's just that your personality isn't for him. He just doesn't like it, but he's not intimidated by you. Love this girl, wish that I could give her a hug because I have never heard another woman say this, especially on TikTok. Normally it's the strong independent boss babes that don't need no man. And if you say something like this, you are ridiculed and attacked and called a pick me or misogynist in the comment section, which very well could be happening. I don't know because I haven't gone to check the uh, current status of the video because as I mentioned, I saw this when it was first posted. Um, but it's just insane, she's 100% correct. The accountability that she's taking here, talking about her past and the way that she's you know, matured and realized this is just so self-aware and again, just so refreshing to hear. And she's someone who has a female following, which is even better to see. I cannot tell you how many times I have heard women say, well, guys just don't like me because they're too intimidated by me, or I'm intimidating, or things didn't work out because he was you know, intimidated by my success and I made too much money for him and blah, blah, blah. Men don't care how much money you're making. That's a woman thing that women care about in men. So then when we're dating, we think that men care about the same things that we do, when in reality, not even close. And they just don't like you, probably because if you're approaching dating with this I'm too intimidating mindset, or you are an independent boss babe that don't need no man, he doesn't like that about you. And you have a bad attitude and you're just not very likable. I did a video reacting over on TikTok to a woman saying, um, why, have you wondered why men are choosing wonder bread women? Basically saying, do you wonder why men choose average women over you when you are a divine French croissant, basically high maintenance and all of this stuff. 
And it has nothing to do with the fact that these women are not as good as you. It's just that they don't like you. And by saying that a man doesn't like you because they're too intimidated by you or you're too good for them or you're too high maintenance, it's just honestly a cop out for bad behavior. It's a way to take no accountability for yourself and the fact that you might just not be very likable. And in the Wonder Bread croissant case, I think if you have to put another woman down to feel better about yourself and why things aren't working out for you, that tells you all you need to know about yourself and the growth that you need to be taking. Um, but in this case, I think it's great that, you know, she was able to say, men are not intimidated by me. They just maybe didn't like me because I had a bad attitude. If you are a boss babe with a bad attitude, you've got princess mentality and want people to treat you like you're up on a pedestal all the time, or you're independent and don't need no man, those are probably the reasons why the men don't like you, not because they're intimidated by you. The first thing I wanna talk about here is that women tend to go for men who are either at their level financially or success-wise or above them. This is hypergamy, it's real, it's true, it's not some myth made up by you know people on the internet. This is a real thing that we do biologically. Statistically, it's safe for me to say this. Only 22% of women out-earn their husbands. And as women out-earn their husbands, their relationship satisfaction tends to decrease for themselves and also the man that they're with. Why? Because women typically want to be with someone who is at their level or above, as I mentioned. Now, this is not the case for every single woman on the planet. There are women out there dating men who make less or are less successful. It's just the way that it is, right? So again, statistically here, it's safe for me to say that them being intimidated by you is not the reason because you're not dating men who are less successful than you or who make less money than you. And as I touched on earlier in the video, the reality is that men don't care how much money a woman is making. That's not something that's on their list of things that they're looking for. Men want someone who is going to bring peace into their life instead of constant chaos or a bad attitude or a princess mentality. You can be a very successful woman and men will like you if you have a good attitude and you're not a brat. If you're a woman who is well off, you know, financially, maybe you're very successful and you're dating men who are at your level or above, well, then those men that you're dating also have more options in women. Why would a man choose to be with a woman who has a bad attitude and acts like she doesn't need him in the first place? or even want him a lot of the time. I'm not saying that women should not be successful or financially stable themselves. I think it's a wonderful thing, but I think it's important to also know why things are not working out for you instead of just you know making it a cop out and saying, oh, well, they're too intimidated by me because that's absolutely 99.9% .9 of the time, not the reason why. It's because you're going after men who are at your level or above, which if you're you know doing well off financially and you're successful, that's a, probably pretty high up. So right off the bat, you're limiting your pool of men to choose from. So if you can't find someone, that could be a reason why. And then secondly here, when you're dating men of that caliber, they have more women to choose from. So they're not gonna choose the one with the bad attitude who sucks. Because there's plenty of financially independent women who do well and are successful that have a great attitude, who might embrace their femininity who take care of themselves physically, mentally, emotionally, who you know are supportive and encouraging and bring peace instead of chaos and a good attitude. And another thing I wanna talk about here is that women don't really hold each other accountable. And she mentioned in the video that when she would tell her friends that she you know, got broken up with or things didn't work out, they would say, oh, well, he's just intimidated by you or oh, you're too good for him. And then you tell yourself that to feel better about why things didn't work out for you. And then you don't end up growing or evolving or becoming a better person because you're just never taking accountability or responsibility for the fact that you might be the problem. And I think that women really do their friends such a disservice by lying about this. And obviously some of them truly believe it, like they don't think that they're the issue, this is a common thing that we see, um, but a lot of them just are lying. We coddle feelings and we hype our friends up when things aren't working out instead of just being really honest and blunt with them. And that's because women don't really respond well when you tell them maybe you're the problem. And I know this from personal experience having women friends. I was always the friend and sometimes this didn't land well, to be honest with you. A lot of times people would be scared to tell me things because I was very honest and blunt and to the point. I was never mean about it, but I was just always very honest. I would not sugarcoat it because I don't think that helps. But then after the fact, they would be like, wow, I'm so glad that I listened to you. I'm so glad that I came to you with this and asked for your opinion because I didn't see things that way before. And I do this because I would hope that my friends would do that for me. 
You know, if I was in a situation where I was dating around and I was having no success and things maybe weren't working out for me and I told my friends about it and they said to me, oh, well, ugh, all those men suck or men are trash and you're too good for them. They're just intimidated by you. They would be lying because if everything's not working out with everyone, I'm the common denominator in that. And clearly I am playing a role in doing something wrong. So as a friend, it's helpful to just be honest so that your friends can grow. You know what happens when you're honest with your friends? They grow, they evolve. They become better because they aren't constantly stuck in a cycle of playing the victim and being woe is me and pointing their finger at everyone instead of taking accountability for themselves and their actions and understanding that they are the common denominator in every relationship that they have and they might in fact be a part of the problem. It's okay to acknowledge that we are not perfect and we have room to improve and there are things that are maybe a little bit unlikable about ourselves. There's no shame in admitting that we're human. Taking accountability and responsibility is how we become a better version of ourselves for ourselves, obviously, but also for the people around us. It's how you become a better daughter, a better son, a better sister, a better brother, a better partner romantically. So by never owning up to being part of the problem or by pointing your finger at every man in the world and saying, all of you suck and I'm not the issue, you're doing yourself a huge disservice. And as a woman who makes content for mostly men, I can say this from my own personal experience making this kind of content and interacting with people, you know, just because you disagree with a woman doesn't mean that you're misogynistic or like a patriarchy problem. Sometimes women are wrong. Sorry, I love women, I really do, but if you're wrong, I'm gonna tell you that you're wrong. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it because that doesn't help you or any of the other women who are all lying to themselves. And long term, it's really so much more beneficial to see the areas where you can improve as a person, as a partner, whether that be with a friendship, romantically, so that you can end up in a better situation and relationship. And I think it's super helpful when you're dating to understand that men and women are often looking for different things. Of course, there might be some overlap here and there, but men don't care how much money you're making. Women care how much money men make. And they're probably not intimidated by you because you aren't even dating men who would feel the need to be intimidated by you. I think the statistic is like 45% of women are projected to be single and childless by the year 2030. And to be honest, I'm not totally surprised by that. I think so many people are single and will remain single because they never take accountability or acknowledge that they're part of the problem. And it's always everyone else's fault but theirs. And that's not gonna land you into a healthy relationship. I've also noticed from bringing a lot of other women on my channel and doing interviews and talking to all different kinds of people that women a lot of the times don't know how rare it is what they're asking for. And I'll ask them like, how much money do you want your partner to make? And they say $300,000 at 29 years old and not even realizing or understanding how rare it is what they're asking for. And it's literally like a 1% man. I think a lot of people have incredibly unrealistic expectations and standards for what they want their partner to be like and then hold themselves to very low standards or in this case, think that just because they make a lot of money that they are automatically very desirable to men. And the truth is that men could not care any less about that most of the time. A lot of men and women just value different things and that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. And again, I think it's really helpful to know that if you're someone who is single or struggling with dating or wondering why things aren't working out for you. There's a ton of reasons why people are single and I'm not gonna go super into it in this video because I've covered it extensively in the past. I can make more videos about this in the future, but really I wanted this video to be about the fact that it was so refreshing to see someone share their own experience and growth and acknowledge the fact that sometimes people just don't like you. Maybe it's because you have a bad attitude or you've got things that you need to work on, but by saying that you know it's the other person's problem or you're never the problem, really just does yourself such a disservice. So I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.